Tenumbu. The Supreme Court said you can cost the victory with 25% in 24 states, according to Sam Kagbo. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. It is well known that there has been controversy surrounding the interpretation of Section 1342 of the Nigerian Constitution after APC's candidate Bola Tsunambu got declared as the winner of the presidential election without having up to 25% of vote cast in Abuja. Some people have argued that going by the subparagraph B section of the 1342 of the Constitution, Tsunambu should not have been declared winner of the election. However, Sam Kago, a senior advocate of Nigeria, San, has come out to say that Tsunambu did not need the 25% of vote cast in Abuja to be declared winner of the presidential election since he scored 25% of vote cast in not less than 24 states. And he also scored the most number of votes in the election. He said the issue has been before the Supreme Court in the past and the APS Court ruled that this is not mandatory for a candidate to score at least 25% in Abuja. About 35.20 minutes into a video shared on YouTube by Trust Television, Kagbo said, If the Constitution had wanted FCT to be a special case, it would say so. It will not leave it to the extrapolation of grammatical construction. The Constitution speaks what it says and what it wants to say. Mind you, earlier cases have also come and those cases have been in Ogo and Kano. The Supreme Court said as long as you have the number from the state and the FCT, if you have 24, you have casted along. This is what the Supreme Court has said. Why will people now start thinking to say if you have 100% of a vote in all the 36 states of the Federation, I did not have 25% in Abuja, you are not a winner. Seriously. Well, with the way to make courts talk, that is all I have to say. With the way to make courts come as I can't say, can't interpret this law because the judiciary, then be people will be interpreters of the law. So now then go come as I can't tell us, say, oh, See what in me, no. See what in no mean. Huh? Because a lot of people are coming with their own understanding of the law. This one, this is what it means, so this one no be waiting in me, no. All they are saying, we go wait, make the judiciary can't give their own ruling. We cannot decide for ourselves. Apart from the judiciary, even coming out to declare, say, oh, this one happened, that one happened. What also happened? The election was filled with irregularities. It is not just one. It, it, the 20, February 25th election, it is not just one particular issue. They have series of issues. Series of issues that are not supposed to be there. I am telling you. Issue where we say we're not even supposed to see. First of all, the election was, um, what's it called? Was, was uh, mad with irregularities. A lot of things happened. A whole lot. INEC did not go or did not, uh, yes, did not follow their guideline and standard. Just be like, INEC will come as I can't say, mm. no, no worry. Say, uh, no, no worry. Say, they are going to come outside and there's going to be an electronic commission of results that we should not worry, that we should do this one and plenty, plenty talk. But what happened? Nothing. After all the plenty, plenty talk, after all the promises, what happened? INEC did not play by their own guidelines. So how did the, what's it called? The, what people say is, how did Tenable come about the vote he got? That is the million dollar question. How did he come about the vote he got? Because like I said, this is far, 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 this is way, way beyond Tenable and Obi. The people are going to say, oh, like, they, like, like I always see almost everywhere, Obi is a sole loser, uh, what's it called? The presidential candidate of uh, the the Labour Party is a sole loser and all that and all that. All I'm saying is that make the this thing can't interpret the law. That is not even the only place they're going to hold him by the jugular. They're going to be able to hold him by the jugular in other places as well. How you cast the vote? The presidential. How people came late for the election. How people even did some of them. Some people that came out to vote. They were not even able to vote. As that, that February 25th, I'm kidding you not. People that came out to vote could no longer vote. Why? Even though they said you're a son, I don't understand of English. We're not all dollars, as you people think Nigerians are. Why did the Constitution not say 24 states and Lagos? Why did it mention an FCT? Again, the Constitution never said Abuja is a state. 
but said it should be treated like a state. The Constitution also said that in constitutional matters, the President acts as the Governor. Please tell me if FCT is not special. Why would the sitting President act as the Governor? You guys should just try to treat simple English language just the way you guys have turned Nigeria upside down. It simply means Abuja votes too should be counted as other states. If otherwise, what makes Abuja votes especially different from other states? Well, I keep saying the judiciary is the best people or are the best people to come outside and tell us, see really, really what thing happen here. Okay, Labour Party and Peter will be got eight senators out of 109 senators and one governor saying he won presidential election. Useless people, bitter truth. Ibo can never be the president of Nigeria. I beg, I think I ask, why am I still seeing this kind of cases? Why? Huh. Now, wow. Telling Nigerians about the case that have been decided by the Supreme Court without citing the case shows there a kangaroo lawyer presiding over cases in the kangaroo court. No, sir, it's only showing he's letter than a respectable son because that will amount to dealing extensively with a case already before the court. We cannot try to get sense and make use of the same. What well, I've said it before, and I'm going to repeat it again. This, uh, what's it called? These people, they don't have, they don't have, they get chilu. So be sincere. So this man don't give his own opinion. It is not necessary that he's going to go the way he has said it. Why is affirming on this without backup or proof of son? Why should a Yoruba man be, as a diehard tribalist, even among the Yoruba, she will say an Ijebu man cannot be president. The Ijebu man will say the Oshu man cannot be. The Oshu man will say the Kiti man cannot be, so on and so forth. The tribalist says the word as his father's compound, and yet cannot do with the people he sees as subhuman. The evil man who cannot be president of Nigeria has made impact all over the world, that has brought glory to Nigeria, including the Yorubas. Try and free yourself from your own self-made prison. Hmm. Okay, which glory? After all the bad name you brought to this country, if is is it the one in Malaysia, South Africa, or the one you guys brought from India? And Boko Haram and Fulani had men. Your brothers brought good names in Nigeria, right? All I'm saying is that the judiciary should be the one to interpret this. If you left to me, I ain't making interpret them because. Huh. Okay. You need not to talk up because the worst of all is that you will have you that have ruled the country for over five decades and still remains the same. If not, why are we looking for a better person? Of course, I've said it severally. If Nigerians get someone who is better. At the end of the day, it is the court that we are waiting for to decide. Hmm? We are waiting for the court to decide on this matter. All right, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.